We've got a 2015 Ford Transit 350. The rear door lock had quit working. It would not work with a switch. It got to where it would work occasionally, and uh, then it just quit working altogether. So it was kind of a pain to send somebody to the back of the van every time to unlock the van to get into it. On the rear, on the rear door panel, everything pops in place. There are, there are no screws, nothing to unscrew. You just gotta pry everything off and it, everything pops in place. So we bought a new rear door lock actuator. It's about a hundred dollar part. And uh, well, I was getting it plugged in there. But that, that is the problem. I'm not sure exactly which component on the door lock actuator. So the new one does work. Let's get it put in. There are three Torx head screws on this side. been easier if you just shoved it in yeah, I, I would pull this out first. Okay, well let's get let's get this back this this connected. This cable goes up to the top of the door, runs up through the top and up to here. So to the re to release the cable that goes to the top door latch, you could squeeze the two pieces in to release it. So now we've got everything loose except for the. Uh, door handle on the back of the door. On the back door, there's a small black plug just around the corner from the door handle. And removing that exposes a small Allen head screw. Loosening that screw will release the rear door handle. This part pulls straight out. The door handle itself slides back and then pulls out and rotates. And there you'll find a Torx head screw. With the rear door handle loose, cable on the door lock mechanism. just figured out that the new part does not include the emergency door release just was this yellow handle I really don't understand the need for it unless the van was loaded up with cargo because this opens the rear door if you're on the inside Okay. 
okay, because we have a piano. So when you go back in with a rear door handle assembly, you get that thin part up inside the door first, or it's not going to fit after you put the cable in it. It's just the wiring that's in the way. I can't get it back that way. I don't think there's anything in the way. I think the wiring is just... The wiring is not that way. It came out. Oh, you gotta do both sides at the same time. Get them lined up and then slide them back both at the same time. Even though the new door lock actuator does not include the hookup for the emergency release, we're gonna go ahead and leave that in here just in case uh, in the future we have any more problems and happen to get another one. And it does include the uh, hookup. Something you might wanna look out for is if any of these keepers remain in the door, you need to remove them from the door and go ahead and install them on the plastic panel. They slide in from the side and lock in place. And if you were to try to uh, reconnect it with it already being a door like this one is, it, it's not gonna work. So you need to go ahead and get that out and uh, put it back into your plastic door panel. All right, for a little function test. It opens. Lock it. It locks. It opens again. That's pretty good. Had been able to do that for a few months now. If you have a Transit 350 with that rear door actuator that's acting up, I hope this video helped you. Uh, I know it was a little rough getting through it at times with the crime baby and everything, but you got to do what you got to do. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm glad to have a wife who's mechanically inclined and do that kind of stuff. It was kind of a challenge working together on the video because each one of us wanted to take over and just fix the door and be done with it. But uh, kind of had to let her do her thing too, you know. And she has a lot more patience for that kind of stuff than I do. I, might have ripped that door panel off the door and just chunked it to the woods here behind me.